If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grind it, contact Rose NBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. This is not a 1 through 10 list, but we are doing power forward, include secondary position, scrolling down, and ranking all of our top 10 power forwards. Now, by ranking, I mean, we're just, I'm just going to say, I think these are the top 10 power forwards. The 1 through 10 doesn't really matter too much. It's like 20 cards you could throw into the top 10. But just remember, there's not like, the card that I show last is not like, for example, this guy is not at 10. But we're starting it, the list, just naming off Amari because he was the last person that I decided I was going to throw in just kind of because I forgot him. Honestly, um, and the reason Omari is here is because he's 6'10", step up at one wingspan, and the guy is just absolutely amazing. I mean, we're talking about a guy who's going to be great on the perimeter and defense. His rebounding is awesome. He's got great speed at 6'10", to play our power forward position. His finishing is great. And the jumper, while maybe not being, you know, top tier, is still overall super solid, and it's still the jumper that I think most people are going to uh, enjoy using. He also has this hardened escape, which a lot of people love. That Steve Francis combo and this penny size up is just disgusting. Like it helps you get so open. Um, and it's just good, just good in general. He's got the normal leaner and uh, long as he lay a package. He's just all around really great power forward. Uh, that again, I think a lot of people are going to like having on their squads and enjoy having on their squads and all that wonderful stuff. So yeah, he's going there. The next, we got Poku. Now this actually may be my favorite card in the game right now. This Opal Poku is disgusting. Seven foot, seven three wingspan. I got him for like 9K yesterday and oh my God, was it one of the best uh, decisions I've ever done. Um, jump shot 30M, very quick. Yes, it's not like insanely amazing as like you've seen with like Invincible Scotty or something like that if you've used him. Um, it can be a little bit baited, but on a seven footer, it is a great, 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 great jumper to have, honestly. Like it's actually super solid, um, especially when we have the quick style that Westbrook combo, the Kobe escape, the LeBron cross is super nice. And the Scotty behind the back on a seven footer with crazy speed is just disgusting. I mean, Poku, as well as a 99 contest shot and block shot, the guy just moves super smooth. That hyper drive handles for days and quick first step. Um, all in all, the fame are just super nice. The guy is literally a hidden dark matter. And I'm being honest, he's, in my opinion, the like best moving seven footer in the game, aside from maybe like uh, Kareem, because uh, Kareem's actually pretty like good moving as well. I uh, just love this guy. He's stupid nice. And uh, all around, I think once you add like Quick Chain, add Deadeye, add Chef onto him, he becomes one of the best cards in like literally the entire game. Um, and in my opinion, I prefer him over guys like Dawn Maker, which is crazy to say, uh, but it's just kind of how I'm feeling. So uh, Poku, he's coming in here uh, real hot, real spicy. Next, Arvita Sabonis. Now, it's just kind of the meta right now is that you run two tall centers. It's just kind of how it's going. And Arvidas literally fits this perfectly. If you're not grinding triple threat offline to get Arvidas, I don't know what you're doing. 7-3, wingspan, and the guy is just disgusting. Uh, that 80 speed is obviously not amazing, but set shot 8 on very quick. It's the same jumper as a glitched Yao Ming. He's got the shifty style as well, and has that long at the layup package with very basic donkey animations. It's awesome. Has 100 in contest shot and block shot, which just means that he's literally never going to let anybody pop him in the paint, which we love to see. That 94 shot 3 is awesome, and I personally, I've said it a bunch, I love centers and big men who can play make and pass the ball super well, and Arvidas fits that perfectly. All the fame, downhill, dimer, bullet passer, bailout, needle thudder, and quick first step. Got gold glue hands as well. I mean, the guy is just beautiful. One of my favorite cards in the entire game, and again, if you're not grinding to get him, I don't know what you're doing. Next, Bull Bull. It, yeah, you, you kind of knew it was going to be on the list. I mean, let's be honest. 7-2, seven, 7-7 seven, seven wingspan, playing the power forward, 90 speed, and one of the best shooters in the entire game. He's got great playmaking. He feels nice on the court. The Brook Lopez base on very quick. It's just disgusting. And we're talking about a guy who has the quick dribble style, the Marbury combo, the Wiggins behind the back, that Jason Tatum crossover is all right, and uh, the nice long at the layup package. Now, I will say, he does have some fancy dunking, which um, I've said it a bunch. I'm not really a big fan of. I just... I prefer when cards don't have it, but you know, he can kind of get away with it from time to time. Uh, but he's gonna have really great defense, and at his size, I think it's gonna be play a really great power forward uh, for anybody that needs him. Next, Don Maker. Uh, obviously, if we're putting Bobo on there, we're gonna have Don on there. Seven foot, seven foot one wingspan, jump shot 47 on very quick, just like you get with Embiid. And he's got the uh, Kobe Bryant upper as well. He basically, he actually has an identical jumper to Taco Fall. Um, quick dribble style, the Jay Williams combo, Kevin Durant size up, Lillard cross, Gotti behind the back, Chris Paul moving step back, long as he lay a package, some very fancy dunking, um, and really good defensive tendencies, and honestly feels insanely good on the defensive end. Um, that's really why I like this Dawn Maker, is because we have a 7'1 guy playing our small forward with a 7'1 wingspan, Clams, Interceptor, Intimator, Menace, Rim Protector. I mean, the guy dribbles great, he's a nice, really good catch and shoot jumper, and his finishing is super solid as well. I will say, though, he does feel a little clunky on the court. Kind of reminds me of, like, Giannis, where you want him to move a little bit better, but he just kind of 
doesn't and it's a little bit underwhelming but all around uh thon maker absolutely amazing card because a seven footer playing your small forward is just so good for defense uh kareem abdul jabbar obviously up next i said it um he's probably the second best or the best depending on how you just feel about him uh moving uh seven footers in the game seven foot two seven five wingspan obviously he's an invincible so i don't really need to talk about his stats but if you want me to say the fact that he has basically every single Hall of Fame badge, Hall of Fame, uh, he does, and it is absolutely amazing for him. I just think he's just one of those guys who is built different. Um, and then uh, to top it off, we have Jump Shot 21 on Very Quick, which is so easy to time. Then they gave him the Quick Jubble Style and the Kobe Escape. He's got the Long at the Layup Package and just seriously is just one of those guys who can do anything that you need him to do. And then has a bailout move in the uh, Sky Hook that you can just whip out whenever you want to if you just want an almost unguardable shot. <laughs> it's just honestly insane what uh, guys like this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar can do. And if you have him on your team, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Even the hero version of Kareem is absolutely insane. It's just obviously if I'm making a top 10, I need to put the Invincible. Next, Anthony Davis. Now, this is one that's a little bit, um, I guess, hit or miss for some people. Like some people, it's like they really, really like AD or they just don't at all. Um, personally, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Anthony Davis. I mean, we're talking about a guy who's six foot ten, playing a power forward, has basically every single stat, um, 99, and basically every single badge Hall of Fame. Then has his Anthony Davis jumper on very quick, which I'm personally a really big fan of. Honestly, is a really good jumper. He's got the long at the layup package, and Anthony Davis is just one of those guys that I think every single time um, you're actually using him, he just feels great on the defensive end. I don't know what it is. He just block shots better. He's he like steals passes better. Um, and just contest shots better than other people do. Um, and I like him for it. So he's in my top 10. Next, David Robinson. Obviously, again, I've said it before, we're just in a meta where really tall, like centers are better as power forwards. It's just kind of like how 2K is working right now. And D Rob at 7 1, 7 5 wingspan is exactly that. Again, we're talking about an invincible. So basically, every single stat is 99. And he has almost every single badge on Hall of Fame, especially in the defensive end. He has great tendencies, including 100 in contest shot. Uh, block shot on ball steal and pass interception that has his d rob jumper on very quick quick style hardaway combo and trey young moving behind the back which is insanely good um absolutely love that out of d rob and it just feels like one of those cards that you just want on the court um we all remember you know the pink diamond absolutely tearing up the game in the beginning of the year and then there's the galaxy will being one of the best budget power forwards in the game it's almost gonna be just as good i mean he's just absolutely amazing and d-rob is again one of those cards who just feels amazing on defense and with these 100 contest shot block shot on ball steal and pass interception tendencies you're gonna exactly know what we're talking about next joel Embiid. i mean it's invincible joel Embiid. he's a free card so obviously we're gonna be a little bit biased towards that it's just kind of how it is seven foot with a seven foot five wingspan jump shot 47 on very quick with the uh zach levine upper which i actually kind of like now uh, we have the quick style and obviously some very basic dribbling moves just because I mean, it's Joel Embiid. You can't make him too crazy. Uh, long at the layup package, obviously great defensive tendencies. Embiid is going to be one of those guys who's going to absolutely pump you in the post. He's going to rebound well. He's got great defense. And because this one's an invincible, the guy's got crazy good playmaking. I mean, he comes with ankle breaker, bailout, bullet passer, dimer, downhill, hyperdrive, glue hands, handles for days, needle threader, quick first step, quick chain, unpluckable, all in all the fame, which just honestly should not be allowed, but he's got it anyway. Um, and obviously, if you have it, you got to use it. And then he's also going to be able to shoot well. Now, I don't think he's going to be as good as a guy like Taco Fall, but you can run these guys literally right next to each other, and they both have the same jump shot timing. And I think having something like that on a court is just super cheesy um, and super fun to have. And then, last but not least, is obviously going to be Giannis. 6'11 and 7'4 wingspan. Any top 10 list for the small forward or power forward is pro probably going to have Giannis on it somewhere, especially considering he's got every single defensive badge, Hall of Fame, and 99s in his speed. He also has his Giannis jumper obviously on very quick, the shifty style, the Giannis size up, the Giannis cross, the Giannis step back, and the curry behind the back, which I actually really like. I'm actually a fan. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty nice. Uh, the only card that doesn't have the curry behind the back that is a curry is his invincible. Uh, but long athlete, obviously the go-to uh, dunking is Giannis. And I'll be honest, this Giannis just doesn't get blocked in the paint. Um, and plays insanely good uh, fin like it's probably because of these 100 um, tendencies in dunking but also has 100 in the contest shot and block shot he just dunks everybody he's got a jumper that's super easy to time especially off catch his playmaking is good his defense is good um, just again the only thing that I don't love about Giannis is that in my opinion he moves a little bit clunky he feels a little bit weird sometimes on the court uh, but that's just really if you have the ball in his hands if it's not he's literally like one of the best off ball players in the entire game like you can just kind of guard the pick and roll and Giannis will just run around the court and get steals blocks for you rebounds like it's nothing and you don't even have to do anything 
but she can cut a lot. So, uh, in my opinion, that's my top 10 list. Again, these are not ranked 1 through 10 or 10 through 1, just my, uh, the guys that I found 10. I debated putting guys like Ben Simmons in here just because they're also pretty good at the power forward position, but this is one I ended up sticking with. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. Like if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new. As well as the link in the description to any of the other positions, though they were before the new gamut card. So hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MIT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E-X-C-A-P-A-R, for 5% off your entire purchase.